We're going on to talk to Prince David Ose, who is an award-winning actor and producer here in Ghana, celebrated across Africa and the world over. Hello, Prince. Hi, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, and how are you doing? Very well, thank you. I saw you nodding to the brass band music. Do you really like live music? I love music. Music is for the soul. Ooh. Uh, Have you ever tried doing music? Uh, maybe, yeah, try to sing. Oh, oh you try to sing? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, are you ready to give us a line or two? Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> what, it's too early for that, eh? What song? <laughs> well, your favorite. Uh, favorite, favorite. Mm -hmm. What's my favorite? Like, gospel song? Oh, well, whichever comes your way. Okay. Are, are you guys ready? <laughs> 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 anyway, perhaps you can do that afterwards. After so they, the show. They, yes, they'll get there. Uh, instruments tuned and all of that. But yes, again, you're welcome to New Day. There's Thank a you very much. new project that's actually happening. Uh, you know, by the end uh, by the end of today, actually tonight. Yeah. And uh, I'm. I think the band is ready for you, actually. Oh, the band is ready. Emma Green, are you ready to give him something? Which of the songs did you, they okay, play? Okay, which are the songs you guys want me to sing? Any any gospel song? Any. any? They played some songs earlier. Is it? That was like High Life. Yeah. Um, uh, was there anyone that you thought you could sing? No, because it's beautiful morning. I want to go spiritual. So. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the uh, Kofi Kenata song. Na 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 na. You can play that one, right? We we can play. Mami, I shout in tree, my ear. I can't sing tree. <laughs> tree. Okay, me, I, I <laughs> No, but you can sing it, right? Yeah, so please, it. Evergreen, take us away. Lego, Lego, Lego. Three. It should be a familiar one. Three. No. <laughs> a familiar one. A familiar song. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot. Yeah. Things fall apart by Kofi. <laughs> yes, the things fall apart. Yeah. Kofi Kinata. Yeah, the latest one. Yeah. Um. I'm going to get out for you. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Evergreen. This one I'll put you on the spot, man. Yeah, Please be thinking about a very, very common gospel song, okay? Yeah. So by the time we are, we are done with the interview, he would actually sing that. But yes, yeah. uh, good to have you once yeah, again. Yeah, play, yeah. You, you've been very active online. You've been very <laughs> vocal about a lot of issues. I'm not going to go deep into issues, no but I just want to talk about, you know, the industry in which we, uh, we're playing. Uh, tonight is the Ghana Movie Awards. Yeah, yeah. And so let's just talk in uh, with regards to the movie industry and all of that. Sure. Some actually say, some people actually say that we don't even have a Ghanaian industry anymore. Because if you compare from some years ago, decades ago to today, uh, if you compare to today, that you are not producing as many movies as you did back then. We're not really seeing what you're doing. Would you say that the Ghana movie industry actually exists and it's a solid one? Of course it does. It does exist. You know, back then, I would say, with all due respect, we used to produce in volumes, but yeah. now we produce in quality. Back hey. then, we just produced. It was all about, you know, putting movies on the street. Every week, you see guys in the street selling our DVDs and yeah. our CDs. And now we've moved on to digital world. And unfortunately, some of the fans and the people that follow us are not abreast with that. Some okay. of them keep asking you, ah, are you doing movies? It's been a long time yeah. I saw your movie, but there's movies running at the cinemas. I speak right now, there's Fixers by Ivan Nelson, okay. which I was part of. It's still running. Oh, nice. There's um, uh, a series I did um, for Iroko TV, Rock TV, okay. African What's Couple, African Couple, which okay. is still running. So there are a lot of stuff. If you are not in the digital world, you probably think, uh, because they don't show it on the local TV stations, yeah. And they need, you know, exclusive right to do that. So yeah. until, you know, the audience and the fans keep updated with how the world is running now, they stream movies now mm. on Netflix and all those platforms. Yeah. You can just have it on uh, DVD and CD as we used to. Yeah. So that's the, that's the shift. Uh, there's an industry because um, Ghana industry has come of age. If, if there weren't an industry, of course, I wouldn't be here and uh, <laughs> my other colleagues wouldn't wouldn't be working mm -hmm. so all i'm going to say is i mean the structures you know, we had problems with structures okay. as to managing the entire industry mm. and thanks be to god um the nfa has been um passed it's going to be inaugurated today by the president today yes today nice. this afternoon um the veteran actor david donto has been appointed as the chairman of the okay, okay. nfa so okay. it's a good news uh, mm. this is going to help with our classification of movies and uh development of ghana movies and help okay. with all 
the necessary legal frameworks to help everybody get busy. So okay. But there aside legal frameworks, though, don't you think that content also has something to play? Because, again, uh, I've heard a few people say that it's not uh, the content that's being produced is not something that they can relate to, that uh, some have said that, you know, it's a bit westernized, and so they may not exactly believe in it. There were movies back then that spoke to certain lessons. So all through the movies, you're actually picking nuggets, you're picking points as to ways to, you know, change your lifestyle or to improve your lifestyle. In some ways, somehow, there were lessons that people were taking, but today... Some are saying that they, are, they don't even see the points of some of the content. Would you, would you say that the board is good, uh, can help with that? Yeah, do you think it's an individual? Yeah, no, no, no. This is where classification comes to play. But okay. at the end of the day, you see um, the world is rationalizing. People are changing. You live in Ghana, but it's not only Ghanaians that live in Ghana. So you can tell me there are a lot of things that is going on in the world right now. Yeah. We can stick to tradition, but we need to move on to transition. Things are moving. Yeah. So you can't tell me 1762, the way we used to do <laughs> things, we should still do it that way. That you know? way. That aside... Movie making, it's like a medium of telling our story, projecting who we are as mm -hmm. Ghanaians, projecting our culture, values, and yeah, what have you. Exactly. We, we use this medium to mirror society. So there are still movies that showcase Ghana. Yeah. But when it comes to doing indigenous movies that really tell our story, yeah. the budget is huge. Right. Yes, very huge budget. How and come? Yeah, because we, we have to put a lot of things together. I mean... Putting up a budget for like, let's say you want to do a movie about Yasantua or okay. the late uh, Kwame Nkrumah, yeah. you see, it's, it's big. And most often when you approach corporate bodies to at least be part of the, the producers or whatever, yeah. they don't buy into that because movie making is more like a long-term investment. You do your movie today, mm -hmm. you send it to the cinema. After the cinema, you look for where to screen again. Yeah. After screening, maybe you get it to maybe Netflix or DSTV yeah. or Rock. And the money don't just come like that. So most people don't really have that patience to wait for to that wait. long. So until we appreciate the fact that our movie making is like a way of selling Ghana out there yeah. and we try to help and invest, I mean, it's still going to be the same story. Sorry. So, yeah, so. You, you mentioned that um, it's high budget if we're making more local movies. And by that, I mean movies that pertain to us, our culture and our tradition. Yes. So for instance, the Yasan Swai, the Kwame Nkrumah. Yes. But don't we have the things already in here? Don't we have the locations already in here? Don't we have the props that, you know, should be cheaper? Okay, we've got the location, we've got the props. Mm. Putting them together is not easy because, I mean, you and I live in a contemporary world. I wear a t-shirt, a jeans shirt. Mm. So if we are to do a production movie right now and it's talking about contemporary life, mm -hmm. it's very easy to get the set, to walk into somebody's living room. Okay. Now, for us to get this stuff, we have to go back, dig, get costumes, yeah. get uh, props, as you rightly said. The location is there. So shooting an indigenous movie, if you want to do it well, the budget is huge. Mm. And most often, producers want to make ends meet and people want to get the industry going. Yeah. So, I mean, that's why. Okay, I see. So, so is, do you think that the NFA then would help, um, you know, in terms of content and, you know, gathering of all these resources, resources as well to be able to, you know, help for better um, film production? Is that what you're saying? Definitely, definitely. And I, I hear there's a grant. Mm -hmm. that has been allocated for movie producers okay. that they can access in case they want to do, you know, high-budget productions by the government. So yeah. it's, it's But not isn't it, if, if there's a grant, aren't there other ways also that you can make money, um, you know, for, to help your own, in, uh, your own movies? I'm looking at it in this, in this way. There are several businesses, little businesses within, um, yeah. you know, the industry. Yeah. And so as different production houses, as different producers, you should be able to also generate your own funds yes. as well. I mean, so far, so good. I've produced like three movies. I did it myself. Okay. Yvonne just produced Fixers, which is still showing at the yeah. cinema. She produced it herself. Okay. And she, you know, employed a lot of people, costume designers, um, PAs, production mm. designers, cinematographers, actors, actresses. Yeah. What have you? Yeah. So in a way, we are also, you know, helping with our little quota. But mm. when it comes to big budget production, as you were talking about yeah. movies and uh, huge content, just take a movie like um, Wakanda, for instance, in America. Even though they tried to do the African way, it was a huge budget movie. Yeah. Such movies, you need huge sums of money of to make money. it happen. Right. Other than that, it's going to look very funny. 
Mm. I was thinking that because they are not situated here, and so they had to procure all the things or create things that are from here. That's why, you know, you could say that it was slightly more expensive. But because we are here and we have literally everything, you know, that we could use for our own uh, cultural movies, it, it, it should be cheaper. But uh, I guess we it's can, not we can look at it's, it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice if we could, you know, get a bit of a breakdown uh, with respect to that. But uh, let's go again to those who actu are actually doing this full time. Because there are some actors who are complaining that, you know, actors don't have jobs. You know, they are actors, but they don't have any jobs. Mm -hmm. and so they are going to do other things as well just to make ends meet for themselves. Would you say that acting in Ghana or being a producer, a movie producer here in Ghana, is enough to sustain someone, is, is profitable? Um, you know, business endeavors or, you know, um, what you have to be smart. You have mm. to be shrewd. You have to be very clever with what you do. Yeah. There are many ways of making money. Yeah. As an actor, you can do voiceovers. You can do appearances. Okay. You can act movies. You can produce. You can write. Mm. You can direct. There are a whole lot of stuff you can do to make money. Yeah. But if you are not smart in the business of movie making, mm. there's something called business. Okay. There, there's acting, there's producing, there's the business aspect of it. Okay. If you're not clever to know the business aspect of it and you think it's just about you doing a movie and getting paid and you sit at home and yeah. no, no, you're going to go hungry. You have to be smart. So the business aspect is like doing the voiceovers and, and the like. Yeah, and, and engaging in other project that pertains to entertainment. Maybe okay. putting up a show, mm -hmm. um, doing appearances, uh, you know, yeah. or producing a movie and screening all over. Normally when I do movies, right. I screen it everywhere. In right. London, in Canada, in the US, in Nigeria. Okay. You, you travel with the movies yeah. and, you know, you make You can you make, make some yeah. funds out of that. Yeah. Now, talking about uh, the, you know, what's happening tonight, the Ghana Movie Awards. Yeah. Congratulations on all your Thank nominations. You. Three you. whole nominations. That's Thank the you. best lead role in a drama series. Um, God, um, favorite actor of the year, of the year. as well as um, best supporting, supporting actor in a feature film. film. How does it feel? It feels great. And um, <laughs> for the record, the movie that I was nominated for mm -hmm. uh, best supporting actor, actor it's yes. a great movie, Abad. It's, uh, it's the kind of movies you were talking about. Exactly. Local, Local. movies. Mm. With, uh, we did it with uh, the Mami Dokunos. And, oh. uh, yeah, it was between the, the Accra the base and the Kumasi base. And okay. it's a beautiful, epic story. Wow. Beautiful. So since you were talking about stuff like this yeah. that we can relate to, exactly. this is good content. It's and I, it got 11 nominations, you know. So. Wow. Hoping. Amazing! Yeah, yeah. Wow, so you, you, you hope that you can sweep all of them, eh? No, I mean, <laughs> it's an award. Every other person is entitled to win. Yeah. So. yeah. Amazing. But what so. should we expect from you tonight? Um, tonight, mm. if I win, yeah. I give a long speech. That's right. <laughs> if I don't win, I mean, whoever wins, <laughs> praise God. We just want to have fun tonight. Yeah, exactly. This is the only platform that we can celebrate ourselves as movie producers, movie filmmakers. So, yeah. I mean, Fred Nyama is doing well. Uh, he's been holding it down mm. for some time now. And uh, I think, um, you know, kudos to him. And uh, we look forward to a wonderful evening. That's, a wonderful uh, evening. Yeah. Amazing. If we want to get tickets, though, to be able to come and experience all of this, uh, how do we get our tickets? Um, ticket selling at Silverbed Cinema, okay. at um, um, Airport Shell Pharmacy, mm. at our Bachona Filling Station, Total. Okay. And um, I don't want to encourage people to buy the gate because it's going yeah, to be a rush. Yeah, that is true. It'll become yeah, a so thumb. Silverbird Cinema, they can get the tickets and mm. uh, back in a filling station, Shell um, Pharmacy. Okay, yeah. all right, Airport, they can. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, TV3 would also be showing it tonight as it is uh, oh, live? Know, live. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, really? we're, we're media partners as well, the main oh, media great. partners. So, we'll be showing it and we'll get to see what you have to do, uh, have for us. If you win, please dance something small for us. Okay, okay? I'll dance. Uh, <laughs> as one, too. As, as one, too. And as for please. Well, thank you so much, Prince David, Pleasure. for joining Pleasure. us. We wish you all the very best um, with tonight as well. We will be back after the break, but I think you should. It would be nice if you yeah, wish so, us a, a Merry yes, Christmas. Okay. Oh, what do you think? Okay, cool. Yes. So that's the song that we wish you a Merry Christmas. Is that what they're going to play? Um, can you can you do that for us? We wish you a Merry Christmas, right? Or Silent Night? Which one? Oh, no, no. I think we wish uh, you. Just <laughs> <laughs> giving you the key. Okay. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Nice Thank you. Yes.